it's tough times over here and racing is my life and you know, I love it a bit but you know, there's a time where I've got to make somewhat of a sensible choice. You know, I just went with a team that I believe in and hopefully they believe in me and they could be there for the long haul, you know. So bike's good, equipment's good, team structure, everything's really, really good. So that's the sort of things I look for in a team. And then being so new, like I've been on new teams before, but this team is definitely way ahead of a so-called new team should be. They're right up to scratch with everybody else out there, which makes my job a lot easier as well. For me to race here was more so my idea than the team's idea. The team's been really great about the fact of me racing, even though I'm not really contracted to do so. It's not easy to get bikes ready and you know being short on personnel and all the rest of it, you know. So the team has really made a big stretch for me to be here. So I'm just trying to return the favour and everything I can, you know, to be out there and you know get those good results. When I first come over, people told me it was, you know, this is what it's going to be like, this and that, but it's hard. You can tell someone as much as you like, but you never really understand it. Once you're in it yourself, you know, things are completely different. And I think that's just the way it is with Ty, you know. We hang out a bunch as well. We're always riding together. And he's had, you know, really good support. People put him in the right direction. He has to do it by himself, you know. It's just one of those things you just learn as you go. I try and help out when I can. I'm still learning every day as well. I would like to think it helps a little bit, you know, just being familiar. You know, I've been in those situations before. It's always nice when you have like a family sort of team environment. That definitely makes it easy. Easy to turn to somebody and get things figured out if you have problems. Unfortunately, I got injured a week before Anaheim, which wasn't anyone's plan. We just went out there on a Sunday just to do some testing. The track was a little soft and didn't make this jump that I was supposed to be making, and I was like pitched in pretty bad. So I had to jump over the front, which is normally not a good scenario for anybody. Landed on my feet, but when you're up high and going fast, you know, it's, it's hard to land nicely. Hit the ground pretty hard. I uh, tore my meniscus and tore a nice piece of cartilage out. So got in pretty quick and had the meniscus cleaned up and removed that cartilage and kind of cleaned that area up as well. So I was on the bike three weeks after surgery, which is, is pretty soon. Still not 100%, but good enough to race, and I'm happy with the progress that we've been getting so far. There's a lot of breaks in between the motocross, so I've got to try and do something with my time in between the weekends, but you know, it's been three, maybe four years since I've done motocross in Australia, so it'll be a little bit of a change, but my plan is to come back over here when the series finishes in Australia and finish out the motocross here. I have the opportunity to race in Australia and here, which is it's just perfect for me. I'd like to stay around for a long time. I'm really happy the way things have been and the way things are going. So, awesome team. I wouldn't change anything. Made the right decision. Looking forward to getting some good results and staying injury-free and all that good stuff. So, looking forward to a good, solid year.